Hello Bobcats and all the other OCPS teachers out there, this is Brad Streffler here. I'm going to be going over today how to link your Google Drive to your device. So you really want to make sure that anything you save is being saved to a cloud service of some kind. So Google Drive is the one that OCPS uses and recommends. So this is what we're going to be talking about now. But it can be really tedious to sort of find files in your computer and drag them into Google Drive all the time. You don't want to do that. So instead, we're going to link it to a local spot on our computer. So to do that, we're going to hit this Windows icon right here. And you're going to scroll down until you find Drive File Stream. So again, you're going to go ahead and click the Windows icon and just scroll down until you find Drive File Stream. And you're going to open that up. On this next page, once it loads up, you're going to go ahead and sign in with your school account. So if you're a teacher, that's your first dot last name at OCPS.net. If you're a student, then it's your student ID number at students.ocps.net. Whichever you are, you'll go ahead and type in that information. Then You'll confirm that it is a G Suite account. Students, you won't be prompted with this, but teachers, you might be. And then your password. And then you're going to wait about 10 seconds, and it will start to load up. You'll be prompted with a welcome. You can look through this. It'll explain how the program works if you want, but really, you can go ahead and close it out and then it'll pop up the location where those files are. So now on my computer, I have a place called Google Drive File Stream and then My Drive. And then all of the files that are in my Google Drive are on my computer. It doesn't download them all right away. It saves the things that you think you might want to use later, but it'll all be accessible there. So if I'm working in Microsoft Word and I finish typing my work, I want to go ahead and save. I click File, Save as and I can click browse and that Google Drive file is right here so now I can save it wherever I want in my Google Drive it'll save there on my computer locally and then automatically upload itself to my Google Drive so that's how you link your Google Drive file stream directly to your computer so you can access all those drive files anywhere and reduce the extra work on yourself. I hope this helped you guys all out. If you have any additional questions, as always, you can reach out to me, bradley.shreffler at ocps.net. I'll be glad to help you out there, and I hope everybody has a great day.